it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build and to another installment of The Squish. Today I am back building a kleptomaniac tiny house. This is actually a combination of two suggestions I got. I've gotten a lot of suggestions to build a tiny house for a thief or a klepto as well as suggestions to do a hoarder tiny house and I kind of combined the two because I felt like they fit pretty good together and there is the klepto trait in the game so your sims can actually have the trait of being a kleptomaniac so I thought that was kind of a cool idea so basically this person our sim I imagined was somebody that was really into tiny living and they developed this trait of stealing stuff they just couldn't help it it was very impulsive and it's all stuff they don't need. They just are like, they need to take it. And that has turned into kind of a hoarding situation because they have so much stuff that they've stolen. So this tiny home is pretty cluttered inside, but not that badly because they try to contain it and keep it kind of secretive from everybody around them because it's a little bit embarrassing how much stuff they have. So there is a shed out back, which is actually open currently, but it's usually closed and it hides a bunch of stuff as well as a basement under here, which is directly from a suggestion I got for a thief tiny house where the person has been hiding everything that they've stolen in the basement. So this was really fun to do because I really like cluttered builds and I just thought it was kind of funky I like a funky idea. Plus, it's definitely something you could actually continue in game because if you have a sim with the kleptomaniac trait, they can just actually steal items from people's houses and community lots. And you can just add those things to this house. And I think it would be really fun. But anyway, I got inspiration from this house, uh, the shape of it from a picture I saw online of this very, very asymmetrical house. It looks nothing like this one, but the very beginning of the roof is where I got that idea. And I fiddled with <laughs> this for absolutely ages. I'm not sure if I kept the footage in or not, but getting stairs in this house was impossible. I had to put them outside in the end, but I probably spent a good 20 minutes trying to fit them on the interior before I realized it just wasn't going to work. It was too small of a house. So hopefully I cut that out. I did use a decent amount of the show live edit objects plants in this build and just like a lot of greenery for Oasis Springs, but I, I feel like it's not too over the top, but I am very happy with how it came out. And I actually used a decent amount of Oh, these are seasons windows aren't they yeah i use seasons windows and then the columns from cats and dogs they have the same swatch i, I don't know if they have all the same swatches but they definitely have this same swatch which worked really really well i loved combining the browns and the greens in this home i don't think i've ever used the green roof trim but i was living for it in this build and i just think it came out really really cute and quirky and I, sometimes it's just really fun to do weird quirky builds like this and i love the asymmetry of the roof i feel like i've done a house similar in shape before but i don't remember what it was called and i was looking for it because i wanted to make sure this wasn't identical but like i couldn't find it anywhere but there might be something on my channel that's similar in like the asymmetrical roof line but it's probably not exactly the same as this anyway so that's totally fine but I don't know. I just, this is the shed we're adding in the back. It's a little diagonal shed. It's going to be full of all sorts of stuff. And the things in this house range in like practical, expensive, junk, like just random things. Like there's a magazine rack. They just stole an entire magazine rack from a waiting room and it's in their basement because um, they needed it and <laughs> some other stuff as well. This is just a fun quirky build, like I said, to do. That was a cool combination of some suggestions. And of course, I'm not trying to like poke fun of it at anyone that does have this disorder in real life. I'm just playing off of how it actually works in The Sims because it is something you can have in The Sims. And uh, I thought that would be a fun way to incorporate a gameplay feature into a build. And yeah, so we are figuring out this fence over here like usual there is that awful glitch with gates on fences and it took me a while to fix it but we figured it out in the end and then I used the gate from cats and dogs over there as well just really a lot of cats and dogs and seasons in this I just really liked how that looked and in the front to the front door we're using some stones from show live edit objects and then over to this gate we're using the stone slab carpets uh, which I think are from get together I want to say uh, and a little satellite dish as well. I thought that looked pretty cute. And I think I cut out some of the footage of like placing windows and stuff because it was very repetitive in the back. 
and then I cut out and we're back and we're zooming around and adding more palm trees. I don't know what it was about this build. I think Oasis Springs is just interesting to me in general. I like the combination of palm trees and like desert. I think it looks really pretty. And when you mix in the green with the desert, it looks really cool as well. But here is the beginning of some stolen stuff. We have a stolen ATM machine. We have some like props from one of the studios in Del Sol Valley. We have like boxes of stuff. I thought about putting this flag in there, but I didn't in the end. And of course, a bunch of these crates from uh, Brindleton Bay. I also a little bit later do grab that decoration or maybe it's a light. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is like the front of a truck that you can hang on the wall that came with Strangerville. I add that in a little bit later as well. Actually, before that, I also add a dartboard, which I thought were kind of cool additions to this shed. And then there's a couple of things around the yard as well, but most of it's fairly contained because this sim is trying to keep it all, you know, in its space like they, they gotta take the things but they gotta put them somewhere and I think eventually if they collect enough stuff they can probably sell all of it and get a bigger house so they can have more space to put their stuff so I don't know that's an idea for some gameplay Ooh, rags to riches klepto edition yes I feel like a lot of people do that rags to riches or 100 baby challenge that kind of stuff like to earn money you're just stealing things that's a fun trait in the game I really do enjoy that uh, but anyway, we're just adding some more junk. This is some of the stuff that's spilled over, some broken vases and statues and stuff. And I needed to put this like replica thing in the basement. This is from Cats and Dogs. It's a really cool, like, what would this, would, would it be called a replica? Like it's a, it's a small replica. <laughs> I don't know another word for it right now. I know there is another word and it's going to bother me that I can't think of it, but it's a, um, miniature version of the island where the lighthouse is in Brindleton Bay and I thought it was just such a cool idea to add down here I don't know how they took that and how that got down here but you know they needed it and we got like all kinds of stuff we have a, a massage chair a chess table random chairs and tvs and cameras a cash register like some boxes these caution signs like walking by a dangerous area and you're like I, I, I could I could use a cone I, I, I really need that cone uh, a police sign. I like that. A crib from the hospital. Like there's some interesting selections down here. I had a lot of fun just going through all of the stuff in the game and picking out random things that would be interesting, compulsive uh, things that your sim could steal. So hopefully you enjoy the selection. We do have a couple of TVs, a couple of cameras. Those are the more expensive things, but they're not like super fancy TVs. I guess the cameras are nice, but they're, we didn't get like a bunch of flat screens and stuff. We have a prop cannon. <laughs> oh boy. And uh, we have like an Alexa and some like iPads type stuff. Actually, what are they called in game? I think the one I placed is the digitalistic sketch pad. We also have a toy box and just a bunch of other stuff. We should be adding a magazine rack here. There it is. And I think we get like an equipment rack from get famous it's just like a wheelie thing with a bunch of equipment on it and I think that's gonna be the last thing down here after those amps which I also included which I thought was really cool uh, I love those that item from the mosquito stuff pack I don't really understand why it came with amps but I'm okay with it because I think they're a really cool item to have especially if you do musician type builds those are really really cool but here we are figuring out the upstairs. I have not, I did not show on camera that I put stairs to upstairs from outside in the back. And I don't think I've added the door into that room yet, but basically the front, the first floor you enter from the front and you have the living room and kitchen. And then upstairs is a bedroom and a bathroom. So it's, it's very cramped. It's a very weird shaped room. It is a double bed, but you can only access it from one side. So this is a house for a single sim. I believe I also added like some cat stuff, but not all cat stuff. So either <laughs> they have a cat and you need to place a litter box and some food bowls, or they used to have a cat, or they just stole a cat scratch post. Those are the options <laughs> because I think that's the only pet item I added was a cat scratch post, but there's nothing else in this build. So that's up to you on what kind of sim you'd like to play in this house. But here we are working on the living room and this is where I found that truck front and I was like yes I need to put that in the in the shed area and also some of these signs and stuff just adding more clutter around and I found that because I really wanted to use the thing I just put above the couch with the clock in the painting I thought that would be a fun kooky thing they probably stole from like a truck stop 
and is hanging in their living room because most of the stuff is, you know, hidden away in the basement or in the garage shed thing. But some of it that could be used to decorate the house is out and about as well. But this is a very, very simple uh, build because it's very small. Well, I mean, the build isn't simple, but like the interior is fairly simple because we don't have a lot of space to work with. I tried to add a decent amount of clutter, but I didn't want it to be too messy. Like I wanted it to be a little bit messy, a little disheveled, but not like the same extent as the shed or the basement, especially because I wanted it to be functional so your sim can get around and get to everything they need to do. But here we are adding the uh, coffee table. This is from Get Famous, an item I really, really like. And then adding some paintings over on the wall. We have some dirty clothes on the floor. We're going to be adding some clutter. I think we get like a remote and some like files and papers and stuff around. And then I made sure to add those pots and pans in the kitchen area, which we will be getting to shortly after we finish up the living space. It's just full of stuff. <laughs> it's so full of stuff. And for some reason, I was like, I need to use the red shelf. And I'm like, everything's on the table at that level. So I can um, just do that. Oh, I have the empty cereal box. See, it's kind of messy in here, but it's not too over the top, I don't think. I also uh, almost forgot trash cans, but those did get added kind of last minute, I believe. And there's a mailbox out front. I feel like the last couple of builds I've done, I forgot a mailbox until after I took screenshots. And so like I have the, I made the thumbnail. I think it looks great. And then I can see through the window, there's a mailbox right inside the door. And I'm like, darn it. The amount of times that has happened and I've just decided to Photoshop out the mailbox instead of retake the screenshots is... um. A very high number. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, I also made sure to have some seating for you to eat at. So we have these island counters over here. Only one of them can you sit at because the other one, I just kind of shoved the chair under at an angle. I wanted to make sure you could access the fridge. You should be able to. I have not play tested this yet, but hopefully I will have time to do that before it goes up. But if there's an issue, you can just delete the blue chair that's closer to the fridge and everything should work fine so you'll have a single place to sit and eat if you want to sit there or you can sit in the living room on the couch and that should all work just fine but here we are just adding some more decorations by the door there's the trash can we have some places to hang up your coat and the temperature controls as well i make sure to add that whenever i remember to because with seasons it's nice to be able to turn on the heat or the air conditioner so your sims aren't dying in the extreme weather conditions but this is a very simple cramped bathroom upstairs, a simple two by two, which I use a lot in tiny homes because it saves so much space instead of having a two by three. And, uh, you know, just adding a couple extra items downstairs and switching out the fridge for a green fridge instead of the orange. I thought the orange was fun, but it really stuck out from the rest. So I decided to change that up. We also add a wall mounted TV in the bedroom so you can watch some TV up here as well. We just have a lot of TVs in this house, like a lot. Um, and then we have a really cute vanity over at the end with one of those beautiful chairs that actually came with Island Living. I really, really like that chair and I don't use it very often, but I kind of liked how mismatched this room was with this little divider from Get Famous as well. But yeah, did I mention that this house comes in at 88,000 simoleons and it is available on the Sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. That information is also down below as well as a direct download link to the gallery website if you guys would like to download this house. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. We are coming to the end of the video. We'll be going into screenshots momentarily. I had a lot of fun with this build, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications. So you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. But we're just gonna be adding the last couple finishing touches here. And that's pretty much it. This was such a fun idea. Leave any suggestions you have down below and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.